This is something that you might need. What it does, it converts the signal from an Ethernet cable to fiber. Now, we might use this at some point in this video because I'm going to demonstrate how it works. We're going to look at how to connect them because this one can have several use cases. Like, for example, you have two buildings that are either maybe two kilometers away or maybe 25 kilometers away or anything in between and you won't connect them. This can be one of the best ways because once you start using lights, uh, you minimize signal loss. You so much benefit from the high speed that you get from using fiber. And at the same time, there are several things that you're going also to benefit from. For example, if the area that you are in is prone to lightning, this is one of the best things that you can use. You just use light and nothing will affect that. Again, other things like, for example, this one, you can listen to this cable, whatever it's transmitting. So you can be able to get whatever is inside the cable. But when it comes to light, it becomes a little bit hard to do that. First of all, let's see what we have in the box. Paperwork, not actually paper, it's just a quick guide. You know what usually happen? We don't read the manuals, we just keep them aside and we're going to get to them later once we are stuck. Now what we have here, we have two power supplies. Let's see the ratings. I don't know whether this is going to focus. Let's see. Yeah, six volts, two amperes. Two of them because you have two converters. One might act like a, a transmitter and the other one will be a receiver. So nothing else in this box apart from uh, things that the converters can do. This is, you can use just the 10 base or you can use 100 base and gigabit which is a thousand base now this one when you look carefully here you can use multi-mode or single mode multi-mode single mode when you're using 10 base you can go up to 25 kilometers in single mode but when it comes to multi-mode it can go for two kilometers which is still a long distance compared to if you decide to use this cable you're going to benefit much from using this now uh multi-mode two kilometers single mode that is the other than it's 100 Mbps, uh, this is going to go 100 kilometers. That's a really long distance. We don't have the rating for the gigabits, but uh, yeah, don't think there's anything important in that box. Apart from now, we have the media converter. Is it actually a media converter? Anyway, I'm not an expert. Now, this is what you get at the bottom. I don't know. Actually, I've not even read what is here. The device is compatible. Oh, and this is just compliance. This side, nothing apart from um, the ventilations. I think it can get hot. This other side, the same thing. It's made up of metal. At the back here, we have the power plug. And on top here, we have RJ45 for our Ethernet. And then we have indicators. And also we have our, I think this is single mode. We have our fiber optic port there. So we're going to see how this works. The same thing here, it's exactly the same. So the function like this, I have ethernet here. Maybe it's just close to my router. I just come here. This is, this contain internet. Let me just first of all see actually whether it's working. So I have this hub that can connect to my phone and it has a port that you're going to use, which is what we are going to check whether this Ethernet cable here has an internet access. So I'll just plug that in and then plug this into my phone. I don't know whether. And let me switch off data. And you can see here, I don't know if you can see, let me try to, yeah, I don't know if you're getting a glare. So if you look here at the top, you can see there is a connection. So if I decide to test the speed, you can see you're getting some very decent speeds there. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is we're going to see whether this is going to work. Now we have this one working. Now what I want to do is to power up our converters here by just putting them here. I want to connect them. Let me try to 
Donc il faut la mettre d'abord en terre. That one there. Another one here. So I think we have power. Now, first of all, we power them. And once we power that, uh, there is an indication here that will tell you that this is powered. Uh, we do the same to this one. Okay, we assume that this one, together with the power here, is going to be in the receiving house. And this is in the transmission house, whereby you have internet in this house, but then you don't have internet in this house. What you want to do is to link the two places, which is maybe can be 100 kilometers or maybe 25 kilometers or anything in between. Now, you want to link them with an internet connection using fiber, which is something that we said, it's one of the best thing to have cause it will be fast and so many other benefits you're going to benefit from. Now, this here, we have them connected already. Now, what I want to do is to link them so that they are able to communicate. Now, I have this one. This is a short one because we don't need actually to have that long distance here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to link the two devices using fiber. Mine is going to be very short because this is just on top of a table, but maybe you might be using a cable which is let's say 25 kilometers apart. So we'll just use that. It will just follow the same thing. You can see here, we have a notch here. So this is supposed to go there. So this is the orientation. So that one is inside, and then um, I need to do the same here. In this part, I just insert it. Now, once you insert, you can see we have more LEDs. So what we're going to do is now to connect one of them to the internet, which is this one in our transmission house. And from here, we are going to see whether we are going to get internet in this other end. So, you get inside, and you can see, let me just disconnect and you are going to see the difference between them. So, you plug it in, what you can see here, this is a 100 base, uh, this is a 1000, because I don't have a gigabit, that's why this is off and this is on. Now, uh, you can see, let me just plug it off again. So you can see transmission and link comes on because now we have internet here and it's now supposed to be here. And if you look carefully at both of them, you can see they are blinking at the same time. Uh, the ones at the middle here, this one and this one, they are blinking. Meaning there is a communication between this one and this one. They are all communicating with each other. Now what I need to do is to just verify whether this is working. I have a tiny cable here. I'm assuming this is maybe you want to plug into the router in the other house. Now using our phone again here, I'm going to connect. And after connecting, let's wait and see how long it's going to take for us to have a connection. So you can see here we have a connection already and uh, you can tell by what you saw there on top there you can see there is an icon let me just disconnect for you to see the difference between them once i disconnect you see it disappears uh once i connect it give it time give it time you can see it's back And we are back online. So what I'm going to do is just refresh the page and see what we are going to get. So you can see here we are literally getting the same speed. And let's see, the ping is actually one millisecond. Yeah. So this is a link in between. So it's linking the two devices. So you can just be able to transfer whatever you have here to the other areas. I'm actually going to look for a media converter that converts HDMI from one house to the receiving end here. And we're going to see how that will work. So just make sure you're subscribed. See you in the next video.